Hello everyone, welcome to another Altenew video. This is Svetlana. In this video, I will show you how to make a very simple and quick winter thank you card. First, I will be creating a messy watercolor background. Here I have an Altenew large palette and a panel which I cut out of a watercolor paper. Uh, now I'm tamping down the panel to the palette to prevent warping that I may get when start adding water. I will be creating the background using watercolor brush markers from the Spring Garden set. Specifically, I will be using the Sea Breeze and Dusk markers. Uh, next, I'm wetting the panel with a clear clean water using a white brush. I will be creating the background with the help of a fold top sandwich bag. Uh, I'm placing it uh, the back side up and uh, scribbling the markers onto it. If you don't have such sandwich bag, uh, you can use any similar product, uh, something flexible and uh, plastic, like a syringe wrap, for example. Now I'm spraying a little bit of water onto the bag to mix the watercolor scribbles together. And uh, then I'm placing the bag onto the panel, the bag side down. Now I'm rubbing it with my fingers, spreading the pigment around until I'm happy with the background I got. At this point, I created the first base layer of the background. I need to dry it a bit. I'm doing this using my heat gun. Uh, next, I will be adding the second layer using the same sandwich bag that I used before. I have some watercolor pigment left over on it and uh, I'm pressing it here and there now, adding the second layer. I'm drying this layer a bit as well and then adding the third layer using what was left on the sandwich bag. Next, I will be making a similar background onto another piece of watercolor paper. This time, I wet the paper by misting it using a spray bottle. This method of wetting a paper adds more water to it, causing watercolor paper to move better and giving a smoother blended result. As you can see, I'm using the same technique making this piece. After I'm happy with the background, I'm drying it with my heat gun. I need this piece to be born dry before moving to the next step, which is the cutting snowflakes out of it. For this I will be using dies from the layered snowflakes die set. I decut two snowflakes out of this paper and also I decut one additional snowflake out of a just clean watercolor paper. Then I realized that one snowflake happened to, to be almost the same color and for lack of a better word, pattern, as that part of the background I planned to, to place it on. So I decided to make it a little bit darker. To do this, I simply scribbled some dusk marker onto it and then kind of distributed the paint, uh, dabbing the snowflake with the sandwich bag. Crinkled bag also added some texture uh, to the snowflake. Uh, now it's time to start assembling the card. Uh, first, I trimmed the white edges of the panel. Even though I taped it down, it's still a bit warped from the water I was adding to it. To flatten the panel, I'm placing it between two sheets of printer paper, folded in half, and then I went ahead and ran it through my decutting machine. This trick helps to flatten a warped paper. Next, I will be mounting it onto a white card base. So first I am adhering foam mounting tape onto the panel. I'm quite a sloppy crafter and it's a real struggle for me to adhere something perfectly centered at the very first shot. Very often I need to do some repositioning. Here I'm using quite strong foam tape which doesn't collaborate with my repositioning plans. I find it easier to leave the tape backing on some pieces, so in case I place my panel wrong, it would be easier to reposition it. I'm adhering the panel onto the card base, and once I'm happy with its position and ready to commit to it, I'm removing the backing from the rest of the tape. Using my trusty craft tweezers with precision tip and reverse grip. The last element I have to make for this card is uh, a sentiment. I will be using the thank you stamp uh, from the Magnolias for her stamp set. I'm stamping it onto a white cardstock stripe using the dusk ink. 
Tot here the snowflakes, I'm using a liquid adhesive. Since the snowflakes are pretty intricate, these blobs of the liquid adhesive will squeeze out once I place it onto the card. I like kind of taping a day card with a liquid adhesive on it onto a scrap piece of paper. This helps preventing squeeze outs and distributes the adhesive all over the die cut surface. Okay, so I adhered the snowflakes onto the card and uh, popped the sentiment onto it. I also added several clear droplets to accelerate the card. On this point, uh, the original plan for this card was done, but I felt it needed something more. It didn't feel like very snowy and wintry for me. So I decided to add some pure white ink spray splatters onto it, which finished off the desired wintry look. I hope you like the technique I showed today. Have a wonderful day and happy holidays. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.